So what we have for you today is this Alaron 31 day wall clock made in Korea. And I've used this clock to demonstrate how to take a clock face off. And so you can see a glimpse of what the movement will look like inside of the clock. Um, so I'll show you what I have for now. I got a screwdriver to take these bolts in the corner off and then have a pliers to uh, get the nut off that holds the hands in place. And I got this thing right here so I can put the screws in and other things and therefore it won't that stuff won't get lost because if that falls on the floor I may not find it and it might get sucked up in the vacuum and this is the pendulum for this clock and yeah I'll show you what that's like on first inspection we will take it off and I'll show you how to do that so actually this didn't even need a pliers but what you do is you just, you know, put it on righty tighty lefty loosey. So you just unscrew this. And you put it to the side. Take the hands off. It'll be different with some clocks because sometimes they don't have a nut. And they have a pin like this one. But I'll show you how to do that possibly in another video to get that out. I'm now going to put my parts over here where they belong, just like I said, so I won't lose them. You wanna take the screws off. Of course, you just put the screwdriver in here and loosen, loosen all of them. This isn't exactly the best screwdriver to be using, but it gets the job done for the most part. Take one out, and you basically do that to all four of these. And now the face should come out. There it is. And this is the movement of the clock. Aileron, unadjusted, no jewels, made in Korea. And, yeah, that's, it's a very typical, you know, like, cheap Korean movement. But that's about it for now. So now I got this thing back up on the wall where it should be. And you can see many things like the, the crutch, which makes it go. Holds the pendulum gear that makes the clock tick and I'll put a hand on it and we'll watch it shine now a hands on and you're gonna watch see it's getting ready to advance for the half hour and now on the hour this thing has a rack and snail I mean it counts off the hours like that Once again, it just automatically goes on the half hour like that, and now it's basically how that clock works. So now I'm going to go with the process of putting the face back on the clock again. Time to put the face back where it's supposed to go. And you just screw them in, like how I screwed them out. And you do that with all the other ones. Now to put the hands back on. This was at five, so I'm gonna put the hour hand at five. And minute hand is gonna go right here where it should. And I'm gonna screw the nut on just like this. And now I'm gonna use the pliers and tighten it up a little bit. And 
and we have successfully put everything back together. And that's how you do it. See you later, guys.